Hello, welcome back to another video. Right, hello, welcome back to another video. My name's Martin, he's James, as you well know. We're back on the Tower Trail, and guess what? He's organised it all. This is his day. He said, I'll take you, I'll sort you all out. I'll show you, all, I'll show you where it all is. So, we're in the hands of James. He's taking us to where we're going. Bollington. Okay, so where are we this week? Well, there's Manchester, as you can see. And as we zoom in, we're in Cheshire. Bollington in Cheshire. And this is one of James's walks that he's done before. He told me about a good tower here. Uh, so I, I was lured in. I was lured in by the promise of a, a good pie shop and a nice sandwich that he was going to treat me to. So let's take a look around. We're, well, we're in Bollington, Bollington and we've just walked up a country lane. We've parked down the road, walked up a country lane. And we're near this mill. Look at this. So, so far he's done all right. Look at that there. It's quite good, isn't it? Uh, that wall looks dangerous. Bloody hell, that wall looks like it's bending inwards. I'll give you a zoom shot on it now. I don't know, it looks like it's bowed that wall to me a bit. Doesn't it a bit? But anyway, anyway, and then we've got here, it looks like the bet there was some flues under the road from the boilers. Because if you look up here, up there, we have a chimney. How good is that? I can hear water. That's interesting, isn't it? So that obviously was the water source for the mill. That's concrete. That's obviously a bit modern down there, but it was uh, it runs round there just to be on where James is, and then underneath the mill there. So there, that's quite good. I wonder what that little brook is called. I'm sure it was the, oh, the first ever water-powered mill. Was it the first ever water-powered mill where? In England. You reckon? I think so. You could be talking shit. I could be chatting shit. But we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> right, I don't think it was the first water powered mill. I don't know where he's got that from. Anyway, this is Ingersley Clough Mill. There's been a mill on this site since 1792, and that was a water powered cotton spinning mill. Looks like this thing was built um, in around about 1821 that you're looking at now. Rather rarely for the time, it had a pauper's apprentice house. It looks like they were giving apprenticeships to, uh, for, to poor people in the area, which is a good thing. Anyway, over the years, it was a dye works, a bleach works, um, and then it fell, obviously, as you can see, it fell into disrepair. And it's actually got planning permission, or it had planning permission in 2010 to build residential apartments here. I don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, I can't, that's beyond me to be honest with you. Obviously probably inside the mill at one time. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm, interesting. He's had someone built on it, hasn't it? Then it goes, as you can see, if you can see, that way like that. There's a little arch there as well. Yeah. Oh, that's, that arch is old, isn't it? Look at that. There it goes underneath there. Ooh. We want to go in there, don't we? <laughs> that's had a building on top, that. That's what all them things are. Is it? Yeah, easily. Okay, so what's going on here? We've got the side-by-side -side maps, courtesy of National Libraries of Scotland. Here's our mill here. It's called Clough Bleach, Bleach Works. I think the reason it contradicts what I've just said it is depending on the age of the map you look at, depends on what it was called at the time. Anyway, let's crack on. Anyway, if you look at the right hand map, you can see how it matches up with the derelict mill we've just been looking at. And this, uh, this is a little river here. This is the River Dean. You can see, you can see it on both sides there. You can follow the, clump, the clumps of trees as it runs through. And we've just been looking at that bit there where it runs in and underneath the mill. But I think I've missed a trick because back here, and we didn't go here, you'll see where it says Clough Pool. Gone, I think that, that reservoir's gone. But they brought the uh, the river in here. The river's running at a higher level here. Um, and they've let it form a reservoir here. Then it plunges off a weir here, which we missed. Um, and then it runs down at what I think is its normal route. But while it's at the higher level, they've took a feed off it here and took it all along there to power this thing here. And then this runs on the edge of a quite a high embankment and comes into our derelict mill here at a high level. Just zoom in there for you. So I think it possibly came in here and maybe drove a wheel around here somewhere. And we've missed... A trick there 
Uh, do know that this weir is still here, down here. So we could have gone and had a look at that, but we didn't know. Right, James is telling us it's that way. What I've just noticed this, and it goes down there to a lovely little bridge. So let's go and check out the bridge. Please fall in. <laughs> Please fall in. What sort of coin is it? Think, what is it? I don't think it's a cup. What is a coin? <laughs> yeah, but what is it? I don't know. Some pottery or something. Oh, for God's sake. I'm sure it's in a coin. Right, no coins. You're not having a pie yet. You're not having a pie. <laughs> Fat enough. Look at that there. Looks suspiciously like something interesting. On a mound like that. There's a fence around it. Let's go and take a look. That is some kind of shaft, isn't it? Do you reckon? It's a dip, isn't it? Yeah. Fenced all the way around. Very round. And a big dip in the middle. Well, I don't actually know what it is, but I don't know what it's renowned for coal mining around here. We're in Cheshire. So, okay, quick correction. There were some coal mines around here. Still never got to the bottom of what this thing was, but apparently there were coal, coal workings around here, but I've got no more information than that. Don't know what it is, but it's like a shaft on it. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Right, this is the tower trail. All we've done so far is walk. Where are we going? Why, I think it's called White Nancy. White Nancy. Cool. I know what it is actually. Some of you may have heard of it from this area. Some of you won't have, but mm. uh, we'll just go up and we'll show you what it is. It's cool. Not a big tower, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's unique though. Yeah, it's more of a mound. Anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> Struggling, are we? I think you need to turn the camera around your way as well. Yeah, I look red faced yeah. and struggling. I'm not trying to breathe normal. <laughs> so it's old, very old. 1815. And it was built for a reason that I'm going to tell you about in a voiceover because I've got no signal up here and I can't read my notes. <laughs> but yeah, 1815, that's bloody old, you know. 1815, 19. That's 207 years old, isn't it? And it used to have a doorway on, you could go inside, and apparently there was a little stone table and stone seating around the inside that might still be there. Uh, but it's been completely blocked off now, the entrance. And the idea of it being white is quite unusual as well. So White Nancy was built as a, a summer house or a folly by the Gaskell family. In depends which what source you read, in 1815 or 1817. It's thought it may have been built to commemorate the Battle of Waterloo. Now I've told you about the stone seats inside and apparently there was a big circular stone table in there that was cut from a single piece of stone, very heavy. Now before White Nancy stood on that hill there was a beacon there and it was part of a network across England that was there to warn of invasion. Now the name Nancy, well where do we get that from? It's, as usual it's difficult with these things, it's hard to pin down. One of the Gaskell family was called Nancy, but when I looked at that, she was around about the 1700s, so whether someone named it in memory of her, not quite sure. But apparently, just to confuse issues, the horse that hauled that big heavy stone table all the way up the hill was also called Nancy, so it could have been named after that. There's a little stone ball on the top, and a local stonemason called Ted Allen, he made that... Um, and he died in 1958, so that stone ball was made prior to 1958. 
Now, why is it white? Well, we don't know, but obviously it fits in with the name. But apparently until 1925, it wasn't painted at all. And then around about that time, it was painted white, which makes sense with the name of it, doesn't it? Now, the door that was blocked up, uh, no one can quite pin that down when it was completely blocked up. Some people say the 60s, some people say the 70s. Anyway, James, it's been a long journey. Brew? Brew. Brew. You've come all the way. It's been a long climb. Do you want your reward? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Come and get it. Come and get the pie. Come on, pie, pie. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up with that brew, I can't swallow the pie. Have you got a spoon? <laughs> He's got a spoon. <laughs> He's got a spoon. Here you go. You've done well. You can't be that, can you? A picnic in January. Oh, yes. See, See bad. when I organise it, everything, just, <laughs> everything just falls into place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pie. We, we don't get out well, like, gone dinner time. <laughs> How long did it take to get it? It took me, I think, 45 minutes. But it was a bit of a buggy getting up the hill in the van. How did you go on? Oh, it was all right. It was a bit um, shaky and a bit of uh, Are oh, you coming to the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New job? New job. Where have you parked it? The perks of um, Team Zero. Yeah? Where have you parked your, your vehicle? Uh, just at the back over there. Near mine? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go and look at the new vehicle, the new company vehicle, eh? <laughs> Right, while we're in Bollington, we've come to another tower, bonus tower. See that thing there? We're going to try and get near to that, but there's some strange way we've got to go down here. James, get it from up here and go right down to it. Well, there's a strange little... What's this we're going down? Oh, like a tunnel or a bridge or something. That's strange, isn't it? Let's go and have a look. Where's this going? Just walk down a bit and then come back up. I think it just goes back down to the main road. What a nice little path though. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we've found this little tunnel here. If you look at the right hand map, you can see where my X is there now, my cross is. Or oh, it's going round the, uh, the tower we've gone to look at. But unwittingly, we've found this thing here. And it turns out it's a, an inclined tramway that came from these quarries here. See these quarries? So there was an inclined tramway there, and it's really steep. Apparently it had a static steam engine that wound the, the trucks up and down. It comes down this way here. Uh, we're only going to go to about here on it, but it comes down here, runs all the way down here. I'm looking at the left-hand map now. See, tramway goes all the way down here, and this is the Macclesfield Canal. So, yeah, we unwittingly found this thing. So we're just there. Right, it's called Clayton's Tower. And uh, James said, oh, I think there's another tower around there. I said, well, wait, you never mentioned this. And we're on the main road here, as you can see behind me. And the cars come whizzing along, so, hmm, interesting. Right, this one don't make sense to me, because if you read up on it, it says this. Clayton's Tower uh, on Windmill Lane in Bollington appears to have been a chimney uh, for a furnace lower down the hill, or perhaps a ventilator for a coal mine under the hill. However, an inspection in 2009 showed no sign of soot and it had a solid rock floor. Apparently built in 1840 for local industrialist William Clayton, so it looks like it was a folly. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Just a short one this week. See you soon in the next video. Bye for now. You're after a coin. I'm sure it's in a coin in there. Or <laughs> 50p. This is how tight it is, folks. I just spent nine quid on sandwiches. Mm.